my name is Eddie Tofpik. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Service International Limited. And here is your weekly technical analysis of New York and London coffee markets. New York coffee. Right. A little more definitive this week. Last week I drew a newer, second, flatter, but also lopsided and larger January to mid-June diamond pattern. It is the one I've highlighted in bright red on my daily chart. And it was a, as a better candidate than the original February to late May diamond pattern. Now this earlier one is still there for now and it's not highlighted. Last week and this, prices have taken off on the downside. Punching down through some pretty good supports. Ones that you would already know back from in March when we saw them. We have punched down through and closed below the following. At the 2016 high at 179.55, the influential neckline currently 175.70 of the January 2020 to April 2021 reverse head and shoulders bottom, and the congestion, quite a lot of congestion, in fact, between 174 to 174 and a half, containing the August 2021 low at 174.5 and the 50% Fibonacci line of the May 2019 to February 2022 move at 174 even. These are now resistances. So let's now look at potentials below for this lopsided diamond pattern. A primary target for X for such a pattern would be in the 156.35 zone. With a secondary target X1 harder to reach down in the 141.80 zone. Okay, there's so one further ingredient I'd like to throw into the mix. As of two Thursdays ago, so that's not last week's Thursday, the week before, we had what could be seen as a bow tie formation of the medium moving average, currently 180, 185, and the short and long moving averages, currently 178 even and 180, 10 respectively. They originally seemed to be in no order, nor indicate any direction, but they did cross over and have since started heading lower. So it's worth paying attention to them, especially as we might see a resultant move between the 6th and the 13th of July. London coffee. Yet again, and about to become my most favorite chart than the ones I look at on a weekly basis, especially if it carries on this way, is the key pattern here and the one that has been running this market higher since mid-March. It is the January to March bullish Andrews pitchfork, which is highlighted in dark blue on my daily chart. The market has been running around the middle time, currently at 27.35, all the way up. Interesting, we've not seen any action at the lower time, currently at 25.65, nor the upper time, currently 29.05. Thus, the theory behind the Andrews pitchfall continues to suggest this to have been a near-perfect indicator of the bullish angle of attack for this market. The most recent action, three weeks ago, had seen prices punch up through the June 2011 high at 26.41, then also the March 2011 high at 26.72, and even the all-time limited March 2008 high, 2704. Now unfortunately my charting system does not look back any further on this commodity other than this time. I'd rather be putting those on as well but two weeks ago was the highest we've seen prices in this contract for 15 years and a second consecutive week of doing that. So until something else crops up the trend is your friend here and the January to March bullish Andrews pitchfork is the key to the market's actions until of course it is broken. Thank you for listening. This weekly broadcast gives the essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted both at the front and the back of this broadcast. Copyright is Eddie Tofpik and ADM Investor Service International Limited. And here comes the final important bit.